Good evening, everybody. Um, here is another Anki video for you all. Um, so this video is the start of viruses um, in microbiology. So uh, this video is covering two days worth of content. So November, November 14th, the 8 a.m., um, viral structure and replication, as well as vi virological methods, and then DNA viruses. So this video includes information for all three lectures. Um, watch for a video on Thursday and Friday, I believe. Yep, Friday. Uh, there'll be more information for those later lectures, but this one includes content from these two days. So we'll jump right into it. And luckily, this is not a lot of jumping around for these viruses. Um, and I just want to preface this video that you should definitely study the PowerPoints in addition to these cards, um, as I, there's not every detail in the cards, but hopefully the cards help you solidify the information pretty well um, before and after, and you know when you go back to review the PowerPoints. But we're going to be in step one, version 11 of On King, first aid, microbiology, and jump down to virology. And we're just gonna jump right into it. So the first one, all of them in viral structure in general, I just wanted to make one note here on this card, the third one down, if your sort field is like this, let's make it like that with the arrow down. Um, so the third from the bottom, um, it says that envelope virus is gonna have either a costohedral or a helical shape. Um, and this is true except for um, the pox viruses. Um, we were told in the lectures that there's three, so the acosahedral, the helical, and then the complex, which includes the pox family. Um, but just from previous microbiology classes, I've taken the pox virus is an acosahedral. It's just a complex acosahedral. Um, so there's cards that discuss that more, but I just wanted to make maybe make this one addition here. I wrote this on this card that except for pox, they're kind of a unique thing that they don't follow a classic acosahedral or helical shape structure there, a complex one. Um, but all of them in this first category, and then in two, skip it. There's nothing here yet. <laughs> Three, you want the first two and the last two. Um, and then we're going to go to four, and you want to skip the first four, grab a good chunk of however many that is, and then go all the way down. Not the last two, the third to the last one, but not this one. Um, you can get this one, most RNA viruses replicate in the cytoplasm. Yeah, actually, we'll pick that up. All right, make it easy. Uh, let's skip it around. That's not too hard one to grab. Um, yeah, that was a little oddly specific. Um, so skip the first four, skip the last two. Then we'll go to five, grab the first three, skip the last one. Um, then we're going to jump into six. And this is where it's going to get kind of hairy because we're going... It's a lot of cards. So skip the first two, grab these two here. We'll go slow so you can pause it and see. And skip four, grab this one. Skip one, grab the next five. Then you're gonna skip four more, grab this one. Skip four more, grab this one. And again, just a reminder in case you joined late, your numbers might not exactly match up with mine, um, depending on what order you downloaded your decks in. So on King, if you made your own cards and combined it, or Blue Link and you combined decks. Um, so all my decks are in one, so my numbers are kind of wonky. They might not match up there directly with yours. Um, but these are the cards you want for this section. And then for seven, grab the first two and the last two. You should have probably have already activated these from the previous section, but just to be sure. And then we're gonna jump into eight here, and eight's gonna get a little hairy with a bunch of them. So adenovirus, skip the first four, grab these two here, uh, and then come down to the bottom, grab the bottom three, skip one, ne the next three, skip two, grab this one here. Okay. Um, oh, light got really bright for some reason. There you go. And then go to site. Make a little virus. I said that right. Um, and this one's going to be a little hard to share, but I'll try my best. So come down here. Um, mine's 144, but just come down to the card that looks like this. 
And then um, hopefully once we get to the other cards, it'll be a little easier to manage. Um, well, I need to actually do this for you. There we go. So hopefully you can see the um, text for it. So come down to this one, then this one. That one, that one, that one. Skip to grab this one. And this one here. And then while you have this one highlighted, just put that, or actually you scroll all the way to the bottom. We skip the bottom two, come up, grab this one, this one, this one, these two here, skip one, grab this one, grab this one, skip four, grab these three. Okay. Then Epstein Bar, again, this is not easy to navigate per se, but hopefully if you can read the text here, come down to this card, or if your numbers match up even better, um, grab this card here. We're going to scroll down. Actually, stay at the top here. Stay at the top. Come down here to this card and then scroll down so that way you can keep your marker with mine. Skip one, activate. Skip one, activate two. Skip one, activate. Skip one, activate three. Skip one, activate it. And hold your cursor there. And it's just to the top. Come down and find this card. Activate the three in a row. And then you want to move your cursor again and just let it go all the way down to the bottom. Hopefully your computer screen is the same as mine. I guess this might not work if that's the case. Um, but come down to this card here because the other one you had highlighted is right up there. So come down to this one, activate these four. A little slower. Skip three, grab these two, skip three. Grab these two, skip two, and then you can almost probably highlight the rest and activate the rest, and then just make sure you hey, suspend the last one, skipping two, and then those three, make sure that those aren't activated. Um, just because there's a lot of clinical in these cards. Um, so you don't want to overload yourself because um, this is actually a substantial amount of cards um, in virology. So, all right, and then the herpes simplex virus. So come down to this one talking about the cowdery bodies. Uh, these are the clumps of viruses within the cells. So we're gonna start there. We're gonna activate these three, skip two, activate one, skip two, activate one. And then you're gonna skip six, painful. Come down to this card here. What cause of genital ulceration presents with painful vesicles? Skip two, activate that one. Then you're going to skip five cards coming down to this one, which HSV is usually confined to the lower half of the body. And then we're going to scroll here. And then you're going to skip the four after this card, grab three, skip one, grab these six, skip three, grab the four. Okay. And if you're getting lost, maybe slow the video. You can slow the video down. Um, I think on YouTube, it's like 0.5 speed. So you can watch as I like, click this and then pause to make sure you're getting the um, phrases here. Um, and then we're just going to keep going. So uh, HHV6, cannot remember, this causes the rash on the trunk, I believe, or this is the slap face one, one of those two. Um, so you're going to skip three to start, or six, grab this one, skip three, come down and grab this one, skip two. Oh, this is Rosalie. gets the... Uh, trunk rash. And that is it for this one. Eight is the, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Grab the first two. Skip five. It's too late. It's late at night for me. Grab these three here. And then I'd come down to the bottom, skip the four at the bottom, making sure your sort field is with the arrow pointing to the bottom. Grab this one. Skip one coming up. Grab this one. And HPV. This one is going to be a little more difficult. Skip quite a few, come down to find this card here. Which type of genome do papillomaviruses have? They have circular. So grab that one and they're gonna come down to what viruses fall under the papillomavirus, HPV. And we're going to just scroll all the way to the bottom, okay? All the way to the bottom. And you can come up 
hopefully if your computer screen is big enough, you can find this top one. If not, start here. Um, and we were only told to know HPV 16 and 18 because those are the most common causes of cervical cancer. Um, but these cars kind of cater to knowing both, like, if, I mean, all the types of HPV. Um, but on the PowerPoint slide, she went into detail more on HPV 16 and 18 as they relate to cervical cancer gen genital warts. But then there's also plantar warts, the benign ones that you get on your fingers and your feet. That those are due to HPV strains, what they're for. So I thought it might be helpful to know, you know, HPV can do both because that's what the PowerPoint slides review. Um, and that's what she goes over briefly. Um, and so knowing one through four and that those are plantar might be helpful. Um, and then you can slowly start to weave in that concept for board snap too. Um, so come in, grab this card here, go up, skip one, grab that one, skip two, grab that one, skip two, grab that one, skip one, grab one, skip two, grab that one, skip one, grab those next two. Then you're going to come up and grab this last one. Both, I wish these were more organized um, with more tags, but they're sadly not. And then we're going to go to Parvovirus B19, grab the first two, skip two, one, skip three, grab this one, skip two, grab these three here skip all the rest. You can come down just to the last two. Don't do the last two, but do the three before it. Okay. Then going to polyumovirus. We didn't go over this one, so no cards there. But pox virus, we did. We did a lot of pox virus. If you want, you can just activate all of this um, and then in suspend these cards or what have you. But the ones you do not want to have activated are this one here because we don't need to know vaccines or really the clinical parts or transmission. So these are the cards that you do not want to activate it here. Um, and then these are different type of inclusion and then weren't included in her PowerPoint slide. So I did not include these cards here, even though they are kind of, yeah. Kind of want to grab them, but I, I don't. I was really picky with trying to keep with the learning objectives. And then we're going to go to varicella zoster virus. So we're going to grab the first one, then skip four, grab this one, skip three, grab these two, skip three, grab this one, skip one, grab this one, skip four, grab this one here. Good histology slide. Come get this one here for the reactivation, why it reactivates. And then keeping your curse here, skip two, grab this one, skip four, grab this one, and then come down and grab the last two here. And that is it for DNA viruses. But not done with cards for today. We're going to go to HSV identification. And if you want, you could just activate all these. So control A, control J. If you have PC, if you have Mac, I don't know the controls, unfortunately. Um, activate all of them, and they can come and deactivate or suspend the fourth one. Um, I have this one activated. Hmm. Let me double check this really quick. Relation to HSV. Yeah, this is the gold standard. You can activate it if you want. It's up to you completely. I'm going to grab it just because why not. Um, so you can grab. Oh, I know why I didn't grab that. Okay. And then these two I have deactivated. The reason being is because there's duplicates of these cards. One says HSV, whoop, HSV, just HSV. The other one says HSV1. And so I matched those cards and activated the ones that go over what she has labeled that causes like gingivo, gingivostomatitis. It's too late for me. That word, she says that that is caused by HSV-1, an initial HSV 
one infection, not HSV2 or just HSV. So that's why I didn't activate these two. But there are the other ones. So you don't even have to edit these cards. Um, if you're following my directions for these cards, you should have activated the cards that go over that primary infection with HSV1 will present as gingivo stomatitis, that word. <laughs> then we're going to go to 13. Okay, so everything except these two cards. And we're going to grab the second to last one because we went over this piece, but we didn't go over the rest of this. So don't worry about it. Um, just know this little subject matter here is a little intro to um, RNA viruses. And then we're going to jump down to 31 here, to hepatitis viruses, and then just go to hepatitis B. And we're going to skip a bunch, come down and grab this card here. And then I'm going to scroll down all the way here and grab this card, as well as the next two after it. Skipping one, grab that card. Skipping one, grabbing two. And then coming down to these three here. And then come down to the very last one. Skip one going up and grab the next two. And that is it. That is it for tonight and virology. So hopefully you found this helpful. Um, and like I said, that covers Tuesday, November 14th, as well as Wednesday, um, November 15th. So hope it helps. Happy studying. Good luck.